I just wanted to thank you both um, for taking the time today to talk with us at the Christian Beat about your, your new project coming up. And I know that it's called Trinity Street. Um, yes. Yeah. Obviously, there's probably a little bit tied to the band name there, but I'm, I'm curious what prompted that title for this collection. Mm. Who wants to go first, Nick? <laughs> no, you go, you go, man. <laughs> Well, part of the part of the reason we're called Trinity is that we had the idea to start a band in Ireland, because as Dutchies uh, in our teenage years, we would go to Ireland oftentimes to 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 be tourists, but also work on a farm, also do some evangelical work on the beaches of Ireland, and uh, so for us, going to Dublin, for instance, was quite. A weird experience because as as pastors kids we would see trinity everywhere you know it would be trinity street trinity square trinity church trinity college and um i, th I think that's one of the reasons why when we came home and we started this band we thought of the name trinity also because we started out with only three of us um, but very soon we discovered very soon we discovered that we couldn't do without a good guitarist so we asked our other brother our older brother, who who at that time had a very different life to us because we were we were students. He already had a like a, a, a nice eight to five job and, and and a wife. And so at first we thought we would do a bit without him, but in the end we couldn't do it without it. So we asked him to join us. And then with all the Irish experience, we wanted to be a band with a little bit of a, of, a, of a folky Celtic Irish sound. So. Yeah. Yeah, it all came together, and, and that's why we named ourselves Trinity. It's only recently, in the last few years, that we've actually really uh, grasped the whole meaning of Trinity, you know? That's funny. We, we've only recently discovered how deep that name actually is for us as a band. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny how oh. some of those things work. <laughs> And also this 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 EP this mm -hmm. this new uh, these these new songs that we're releasing coming Friday mm -hmm. is the result of a trip down memory lane to Ireland. So just after the pandemic, we took a, we took the first chance to fly to to Ireland, and it was for us very liberating. Of course, also very uh, nostalgic to to go to Dublin again. To be on the farm again, where we also where we always used to work as 16, 17 year olds, and also going back to Trinity Street, playing there on Grafton Street, for instance, busking uh, in the city in the sunlight yeah. was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so so yeah. Tr Trinity Street is is an actual name in in Dublin, um, so we thought it would be a fun, and the song is all about. Uh, a bit of our day and DNA. Uh, would you say that Albert? Like the, the song is about. Yeah. You haven't so told that yet. Yeah. Yeah. Our DNA would be craftsmen of heavenly parties. So that's all in the song. Also, that that people are welcome, whoever they are. Uh, that there's always room for more. That there's always enough love, because that's that's something we've learned from actually studying the Trinity. Uh, the Trinity is a constant outpouring of love from God the Father to the Son to the Spirit to the Father. It's like a like a holy dance, dance like a holy party uh, in itself. And also, uh, looking at the fact that we've been created in God's image makes us as people uh, prone to to not live life alone. You know, makes us makes us community lovers makes us community driven actually and also makes us uh, dependent of that constant outpouring of love so that's quite a long answer <laughs> <laughs> no it, it, it's good Sorry. no 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 i i'm curious um with this ep if there's a particular i mean i know you mentioned you you've had some of this music it kind of started in the pandemic some of it for you but in the world in its current state now, is there a particular track or a lyric that you think kind of really is the message that, that listeners need to hear? Yeah, Nick, you go. Um, 
Well, you're, you're a singer. <laughs> uh, no, um, well, I, I, I'm thinking of this. I, I, I immediately think of the one rewilding the wild, the, the oh, track yeah. about trees. On the farm where we were, uh, it used to be a cattle and a sheep farm, but now the farmer is mm, turning it into a forest, which is pretty unique for Ireland because there is hardly any forest in Ireland because the, the, the whole, all the trees were harvested for the, the, the British, British Armada. Yeah, for the military ships of, of, of Britain. Ireland was, was de depraved of the trees. So this farmer, in, in the view of, of a climate change and, and all that, uh, is turning his farm into a forest, field by field. So that we already had the idea to do something with, with this, this piece of lyric that Nick found, which was rewilding the wild. Because if you looked at David Attenborough, yeah, it was a joke, and he said, yeah. yeah, we need to rewild, rewilding the wild. And I, I, I liked the title, I think. So did we started, well, you're there. a wee, you're, 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 a, you're a little bit of an Indian, a lot, lot, like a, he, yeah. He's always he's always thrown axes at trees. <laughs> uh, you were always throwing axes, and uh, when you like camping out in the wild, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. And rewilding the wild is a song where where we put the analogy of the whole tree and the, and, the, and and nature alongside uh, becoming fully human and becoming fully alive, becoming fully uh, oh, transformed. Nice transformed by the love of God. So that's all in that song, really. But also, um, the current state the of the world is very segregated. The people are segregating more and more, polarizing. We're, we're more and more uh, in our social echo chambers on social media. So I think ma many of our songs always breathe, breathe this sense of, of uh, hoping to bridge the gaps between us of uh, uniting in, in song, uniting in party, uniting in love. Um, so yeah. And, and maybe maybe the, the most of the songs were born just out of fun, uh, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, most of the times we really have a message or we have something. But, but now it was just excitement by, okay, we, we booked these flights to Ireland, we haven't been away for two years, maybe outside the country, so and we were just really looking forward to it. And and out out of that that sense of that excitement, we wrote I think four songs in one day, and then we took the time to really uh, make them better. Um, and in Ireland, we had a really nice time um, skyping with our producer uh, Ian Esplin from Nashville, and uh, we really just had loads of fun making great songs, and then we recorded it, everything in our studio here. Um, so yeah, so we, we, we did think about message, but we didn't overthink it. We just just had really much fun making music. No, that, that's a fair point. And if I'm not mistaken, the CP has a mix of new material and has a cover on it, song on it, correct? Yeah. Our first cover ever, I'd say. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, like, how, how you... Uh, put the collection together to kind of make it cohesive. I mean, obviously make it your own, have it fit with the new music, but it's obviously not yours to begin with either. So I'm just curious how that how that worked for you this time. Yeah, well, we we had this idea to to make sort of a, a work tape EP around a bit of an Ireland trip, folk music, and we we were fans we were fans of Mumford and Sons. Uh, big fans and we uh, back I think eight years ago we, we played our song uh, Awake My Soul we played it in our live set for, for a couple of years so we uh, we used to play it live quite a lot and now we were thinking about the sound of this EP and we, we were the name of Mumford and Sons came up quite quite often and we and we, and we said hey we we never released that, that version of, of Awake My Soul so we, we can try to do it now and it felt like a nice, a really closing song to the four, to the four ones we, we brought ourselves. So, so. for sure, it felt, it felt quite natural for us. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. 
I, you've already touched on it a little bit by, you know, some of this was written during the pandemic and, you know, different things, but how is like the creation, the recording process of this project different than some of your previous projects? Production wise, it was very different because for the first time ever we've, we've produced something ourselves, uh, in the person of my brother, who's here, who's here as well, uh, of, of, obviously with, the with the help and the advice of Ian Escalade, who produced our latest record when we were in Nashville a couple of times, he was here, he was over here as well for a week, but now, uh, we've, we've taken the, the boldness and the step and the risk of doing it ourselves <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So production wise, very production wise, very differently and also approach wise differently because this time we've, we've sort of taken a trip, this trip to Ireland, which mm -hmm. was only a weekend. We've taken that as, as the, the whole starting incentive. point, the incentive. Yeah. That's the good word. Yeah. So how, for how writing, for, for producing, yeah, it has a bit of a, the, the whole, the whole record has a bit of a Celtic sound. Yeah, and and comes quite closely to how, to how we sound live. So, so we, yeah. had, we had we we had one rule: we don't do anything double. So, um, if we have one guitar part, the other part has to be a mandolin. So, uh, so it's quite quite folk rules. So, the lead vocal is just one vocal. It's not it's not dubbed or anything. Uh, and we did do a lot of gang vocals, but not. So so we didn't we didn't double the same thing. And that, we didn't that was overproduce it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, I think we did it in a couple of weeks. Just, okay, this is it. So that was new. Because for normally, me. normally in pop music, normally in, in real pop music or real radio friendly pop music, you, you double every vocal to make it sound more uh, strong and everything. And this time we've chosen a more folky approach also in, in honor of, of, of Ireland and in honor of our, of our live sound which was very much influenced by our youth in Peru, in South America, with lots of folk music there, which combined very nicely with, uh, with the Irish folk that we encountered when, when we were teenagers. That's great. I'm, I'm curious then how that kind of impacts your definition for success or like how you're going to kind of gauge this record in this EP for yourself. You, you, you mean sound wise because it's not radio radio i mean radio. it could be however i mean there's different definitions for success for different projects yeah, yeah. and different things so i'm just curious yeah. this one you know you mentioned already that this is the first one you've really produced as, as your group and different things so there's there's definitely some differences with this one i'm just curious how that has altered if if it has your you, how you're going to look at success for this project yeah uh, um, the, the thing is, this EP is going to be the first EP we only release digital, so that that's a new s step as well. So um, and we produce it ourselves, so so that like we don't have huge costs or something. We we are we are our own label and we work together with Few Music for distribution. Um, and the idea is to make a couple of these EPs, and then see which 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 songs really pop out on stage or on Spotify, and then we might record them again, you know, like really properly or, or with a, with a, a bigger producer or so it's, it's really about, um, yeah, getting these songs out. It, it's about getting these songs out of our system with, with a certain youthful joy and yeah. then road testing them and seeing how they, how they find their way into people's lives and on our stage and uh, and, and how they work and then maybe gather up the the successful ones or the ones that really resonate with with the most people and make them to, into a new album uh yeah. by binding them by that by binding them together that's that's our long-term plan that's awesome mm. <laughs> yeah. do you have any uh plans for any like type of videos or anything to also pair with the new music yes Coming yes, weekend, we'll be in uh, we'll be in Basel, which is uh, Switzerland. Okay. And we just we just looked up the weather, and it's going to be thirty degrees Celsius in Switzerland. So it's going to be very nice and sunny. 
and uh, it's a very pretty city, as you might know. It's in the Alps, and there is a very clear river running through the city. So we have plans to uh, to record some uh, some second some, video. So yeah, to yeah. record stuff for a second video, which is gonna be for what song, Nick? Uh, don't be scared. The one, oh yeah, don't be scared. Which just don't which has scared. a bit of a flowy. Don't yeah. be scared. And and the, 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 video, the, the video for the title track for Trinity Street, we already shot that in uh, in Ireland. Oh, nice. So that yeah. so that one is is really into uh, uh, a bus experience in the heart of Dublin. Uh, lots of people dancing. So that's going to be coming out this Friday. Nice, awesome. That's great. Together with people. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen any of it already? I have not. No. Well, of course not. No. No, it's, it's not already. So it's, it's, I can't I'm wait sure. though. Well, we, we, because <laughs> because the video, the video that's coming out this Friday is really funny. It's it's like a, an honest, an honest taping of our busking session <laughs> in in the heart of Ireland, in the heart of Dublin. Yeah. That's great. With, with like I think hundred people who stopped and and to partied with us yeah and, uh, awesome. all, all kinds of people on a Sunday we, afternoon we don't, we don't know <laughs> we didn't know at all which which matched very nicely with the whole theme of the track yeah, for yeah. sure and it worked no doubt so that's awesome can't wait to see mm-hmm. it and coming weekend we have plans to jump in the river in Basel and fl- go with the flow for a while nice I like the tie-in <laughs> Which is, mm-hmm. which is going to be a fun video as well, I think. For sure. That's great. Well, I know we're coming close to the scheduled time, so I'm going to close with one final question for you. But what are you most expectant for in the remainder of this year? Ooh. Um, I'm really looking forward to to this festival season, which is starting coming weekend. Uh, because we have a few other festivals lined up as well. And we have big plans to do a, a, a Christmas stable tour nice. in November to December, which is going to be huge and awesome. Yeah. We're going to turn yeah. horse riding, riding schools uh, into, into the Christmas stables. And people are going to stand on the, on the stand of the horse stable riding school. And we're going to load in some big trucks, uh, like the flat wagons of, of, the, of the, the farmers, play on, on top of them. Uh, it's going to be real nice and farmy and and, and we haven't and done a little bit bluegrassy, I think. Tiny bit bluegrassy in the sound. Yeah. And yeah. very, uh, very. Yeah, the ambiance is going to be amazing. It should work well in the, in the states, I guess, but it's uh, it's a bit of a hassle to bring everything there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're going to do some, a couple of shows in Europe and then do eight 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 shows in in, uh, in the Netherlands. So. Uh, yeah. That's you awesome. know what else we, we came up with for the season? We decided to meet our to meet our, our like hardcore fans, which are about one thousand of them. Uh, yeah, fifteen hundred already. Like the, the, the supporters, the members, that the official. Yeah, fans. like the, 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 the official fan base is is is, is made of fifteen hundred people, and we're gonna meet those people at different locations coming summer, and we thought of doing uh, a potluck dinner with them, and also making them bring all their garage sales stuff and putting it in a trunk. So it's going to be like a trunk sale. Potluck, concert, outside. It's going to be good. Farmers, uh, night out. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I just wanted to thank you again, Albert, and you for taking the time uh, to chat with us uh, today. I really do you appreciate too, Jesse, it. Yeah. You too. And say hello to everybody, everybody there. Absolutely. Absolutely.